Hello, I'm Marlon and welcome to the Empire. Come on in. I'm Marlon Alexander-Brown and I'm an artist. There were two moments of inspiration that led to the establishment of the place. One was when 9-11 happened and one was when I first came into this building. I was living in Los Angeles when 9-11 happened, pursuing becoming an artist, a recording artist. But with what happened, I kind of decided to come back home and build something here in a place that I knew. And then I came across this building. I walked in when it was a shell. I came up the stairs and as I stood at the top, it kind of hit me, the energy of the place and the thoughts of music. The point of inspiration for music when I first came into the building was walking into the hall as a silent quality and the harmonic frequency in here is pretty much perfect for recording music and it reminds me of the the Greek teachings which a lot of the artworks based on or inspired by having seven vowels in the ancient language which represents the notes and in that belief music is directly <laughs> from God for our enjoyment. The pure essence of the music is fundamental and that leads into why the piano and why a Steinway? Because it's a fantastic bodied instrument and the vibrations it gives off and the acoustic treatment of the room is all to enhance the feeling of the instrument that you feel and don't hear. <laughs> so what I'm sitting on is a list of things to do, which is an artwork I painted in 2002 and took about three or four months. So it ran from one end to the other end. So it's exactly the same length as the building. And some of, the, some of the elements on this have then become other artworks, including which I've taken a little while to get around to, but that equally inspires buying the, the Steinway and having it here. So I'm hoping to learn that if I find the right teacher, someone with patience. <laughs> the magic of it, it's, the depth is incredible. Over the years, there's been theatrical performances. Bands have written albums here, such as Noah and the Whale, Arctic Monkeys, used it as a rehearsal space and a writing space and a tracking room. And then on from when we've finished the fit out, we've done full orchestral recordings for films and TV. We've done the music for Michael Bublé's Christmas album, the orchestral recordings. Taylor Swift re-recorded some of her strings here recently. A band called the Maccabees, the Sex Pistols, they've all been here. <laughs> The Steinway piano is the first instrument I've bought to be here. The model I selected was the Model B. After talking to George in the Steinway shop, I wasn't too sure which one, and he played a few, thought about it, and decided on the one. The one that he'd suggested and the one I knew had the right sound. The perfectionism in its design, which I still struggle to work out how that is made. <laughs> and what they must have gone through to perfect that. It was always at the back of my mind whilst building it all, that that would be the kind of backbone, hopefully, of what we brought in here. It's the perfect model for this room. 